Envision a metropolis, teeming with vitality, housing around 5,000 inhabitants. Now, envisage that metropolis expunged from the map. Precisely, that is the harsh truth of the Census of Fatal Occupational Injuries report. In merely a year, close to 5,000 American laborers perished while working. Data analysis reveals chilling trends, high fatality rates among transportation and material moving occupations, construction and extraction occupations follow close behind, half of all workplace fatalities attributed to these groups. Workplace overdoses on the rise, drug overdose death surge by 25% immediate attention needed for clear and present danger. Transportation incidents, the most frequent fatal events, the prevalence of falls, slips and trips, interactions with objects and equipment, violence and other injuries by persons or animals. Welcome to our detailed video report on workplace fatalities in America. In this report we will explore the alarming statistics and trends surrounding on-the-job deaths, as well as the urgent need for workers' compensation reform. Let's begin by visualizing the impact of workplace fatalities. Imagine bustling city streets reduced to rubble, symbolizing the devastating consequences of these tragedies. According to the latest BLS CFOI 2022 report, workplace fatalities have been on the rise. Of particular concern are the increasing numbers of overdoses and suicides in the workplace. These statistics paint a grim picture of the current state of worker safety in America. To address this issue, the National Workers' Compensation Commission has been proposed as a solution. It emphasizes the need for minimum basic federal standards, treating worker safety as a fundamental human right that should be protected regardless of state lines. The American Public Health Association has also highlighted the critical need for workers' compensation reform. Their policy statement underscores the importance of ensuring fair and adequate compensation for injured workers. Insights from the Congressional Research Service report further shed light on the complexities of the workers' compensation system. This comprehensive analysis provides valuable information for policymakers and stakeholders. One concerning trend in workers' compensation benefits is the decline reported by business insurance. This decline raises questions about the adequacy of support for injured workers and the need for reform. In conclusion, our report underscores the pressing need for revamping workers' compensation in America. We have delved into the alarming statistics, deliberated on potential solutions, and scrutinized crucial insights from authorities in the field and extensive research reports. It is to note that workers have lost 15% of our grand bargain nationally over the last five years. An in-depth study of data on coverage of the U.S. labor force, the cost of said coverage, and benefits dispensed workers at the national level and across states revealed some disturbing trends. Standardized cash and medical benefits, delineated as the total benefits per $100 of covered wages, experienced decline. There was a plunge of 14.0% and 16.7% respectively, which culminated in a 15.4% decrease in total standardized benefits between 2015 and 2019. The evidence is overwhelming, and swift action becomes indispensable to safeguard the rights, safety and well-being of American workers.